Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. It is going to be episode or installment number two in my chopping block series. And this installment is going to be around like mauvey dusty purples. So I've decided with my palette chopping block series that I really wanna focus on like a tone of eyeshadow, maybe a shade of eyeshadow within my collection. My first installment was cool toned palettes. And I feel like I definitely didn't even include all my cool tone palettes in that installment. And so I was like, you know what? It is the time of year where I would be reaching for like my dusty mauve purples. Some of the palettes that I'm including in today's like chopping block were also included in the cool toned section or series of my chopping block. And really, I just was trying to pull out any palettes in my collection that had kind of like a shade similar to this. I really wanted to focus on like the dusty pink, purple, and mop tones. And even though there's palettes within these, I think I have 22 palettes to share with you guys today. Even though there's palettes, I know I won't be decluttering such as like the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural palette. I'm pulling all of these palettes so that I can compare one another against each other so that I can decide if I really do need all 22, need all 22 of these palettes in my collection or maybe this is just an example but i recently know pan left behind at this palette and i know i'm going to keep this one but maybe i decide i have like all four of these shades really similar in let's just say it's not true but let's just say in like the glaminatrix um rich romantic pack or maybe like within these two palettes i felt like i had these exact same shades in these two palettes so that i could then declutter this palette it's really just like focusing in and leaning into palettes and trying to decide like trying to find ways to keep my palette collection like somewhat curated and i put those in quotations because i have a very large like i have a large palette collection i have 156 palettes currently in my collection and while i still plan to buy and try all the new eyeshadows i don't <laughs> Like I want to be cycling through my palettes and like if there's a palette that I don't feel inspired by, like I want to pass it on to my mom, my sister, my friends, my family, um, and just keep my palette collection as minimal. I'm joking. As possible. I was able to declutter 25% of the cold of the cool tone palettes that I included in that cool tone chopping block. I don't know if it'll be the same, better, we'll see what happens with the, we're gonna call it the mauve series. But if you guys are interested, I believe I have 22 palettes that I'll be including in the chopping block. Today I'm just gonna be sharing those palettes with you and then I will be trying all these palettes, swatching them against one another, you know, things like that. And I will come back to update you guys in the next six to eight weeks. And then we will choose a new color to focus on anyway if you're interested in the 22 palettes that are currently on the mob toned chopping block stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content palette themed content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video i just realized i should have done like a mob look for this for this i feel like in my cool toned i did like a blue look similar to this kind of for like cool tones i should have done a mob tone look anyway it is what it is it is what it is all right you guys i'm gonna jump into the i think i have one two three four five palettes that i had also included in my like cool toned chopping block series again a lot as i look through like my mob tone palettes i like it's so funny because i feel like in 2021 i was really into mobs and the last couple years i'm like i don't know if i'm into mobs anymore but then like I love all these palettes and I feel like every time I do like a mauve look and by the way if you say mauve and it's like driving you crazy that I say mauve I'm sorry <laughs> but I like can't say mauve it's mauve to me anyway um I like really like like there's not really a palette in here that I'm looking at that I'm like oh maybe I could declutter that <laughs> so we're just gonna get into it we can start with the five palettes that were also in my cool toned chopping block series up first I have this one from Aether Beauty it's the Amertine mini crystal palette this is such a beautiful little quad Aether Beauty had such a good formula it's a shame that they're no longer a brand because they really did have such a good eyeshadow formula as I said I've already recently no pan left behind in this palette so I know I'm not going to be getting rid of this I really love to pair this um with another little quad that's actually going to be in this shopping lock that I know I'm not getting rid of but with my Rowan 1111 and I've also paired this with the Rowan Mood Forever 
I really like to layer these shadows on top of these cream shadows to really make these pop and then as like my shadow wears off throughout the day like I get a different look as my shadows wearing off but it's still so pretty um so I know these are not going anywhere but I was pulling them out because they fit the theme of kind of like the aesthetic of what I was really going for for the shades of eyeshadow that I'm trying to pull out Okay, then this is not going to look like the Natasha Denona Retro because this is my current custom Natasha Denona palette, but a lot of the shades in here are actually from the Natasha Denona Retro, and the Retro really does give very like mauve-esque sort of vibes, um, and I have really been enjoying reaching for like the mauve shades in this custom palette so far. In January, I've created a couple looks that I've really, really enjoyed, so I'm not going to be decluttering this, but... I did want to pull it out because there are some shades from the Natasha Denona Retro, which we know I'm not getting rid of any of my Natasha Denona, so they're good shades to maybe like swatch against other palettes that maybe I'm considering decluttering and maybe they have sh similar, maybe the shades are similar enough that I can declutter the other palette. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all. I hope I am. Okay, then I have this one from Pat McGrath. This is the, I think it's the Divine Rose the original I could be very wrong on that I wish that it said on the back this is definitely not my favorite Pat McGrath palette but I'm also not going to be getting rid of any of my Pat McGrath mothership palettes and we have some of the like dusty purples in here and I also feel like this quad of shades will pair really nicely with some of the like looks that I am creating with my mauve palettes so hopefully hoping to get some more use out of this one as well then we have my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette which I no isn't going anywhere i absolutely love this palette but again it's kind of giving like the ethereal mob sort of feel to it and i thought this would be a great palette to kind of compare against other palettes because we know this isn't going anywhere so maybe there's again some similar shades that we might find as repeats and then the last palette that is a repeat from the cool toned selection of palettes is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now, this I recently included in the products, makeup products in my collection that will self-destruct at the end of the year if I don't get use out of them. So I need to get some use out of this palette. Now this doesn't necessarily have like matte mauve purples, but I really, really love to pair this shade right here specifically with mauve tone looks. There's also some fun pinks and purples throughout this palette. So I feel like this will be a good one to pull out as well. All right, I have two more Huda Beauty palettes. The Naughty Nude, I feel like just screams these like dusty, actually this one's more like pink toned, but I thought that this would be such a fun palette to pull out right now because some of these lean more like, like a deeper purple, but would be fun to pair with like dusty, you know, dusty purples. Also, there's some really beautiful shimmers in this palette that I feel like would pair well with maybe some of the looks that I'm trying to create. And then I'm also putting, pulling the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This one is a little bit more colorful and doesn't have a lot of really what the rest of these palettes have, but it has like this shade right here. And I really just kind of wanted to pull this out to encourage me to get more use out of it this year as well. There's some, you know, some pinks and purples, but this doesn't necessarily like encompass like a mob color story. Nevertheless, we're pulling that. <clears throat> okay. This one, more dusty pink than purple, but I also wanted to pull this little quad from Aether Beauty. Um, this one, I again, I really like the Aether Beauty formula, but if I were to declutter either of these two, and I feel like I go back and forth on my favorite, but right now this one's my favorite. So I kind of want to do like a look using this quad and then a look using this quad and see if I really feel like I need both. Potentially, maybe this would be one that I would consider decluttering, but I also like... I'm also like, maybe not. Like this is also really pretty, we'll see. Um, you guys, I had decluttered this a bit ago and then I grabbed this when I was at my mom's because I wanted to see if I wanted this back in my collection. And I thought this would be the perfect little collection of palettes to include this in. It is the Huda Beauty Nude Rich Palette. This is really beautiful. And while this is probably more pink leaning than like a dusty purple, it's kind of giving me the vibe I was feeling like. I also feel like this could be a really, really beautiful like Valentine's Day palette. And you know, I just want to encourage myself to pull this out and really decide if I want to bring this back into my collection officially. A couple more mini palettes. I have the Natasha Denona Oh no, oh my gosh, all my Natasha Denona minis, I think it's because I'm just a little rough with them. Like I feel like 
the shades just are not the most durable but this is one of my favorite dusty pink shadows in my entire collection i get it's not like a mauve but like i feel like dusty pinks and du dusty purples i i view them very similar when i'm doing makeup uh but i also really love the shade galaxia which i also have in my mini starlet palette i thought about pulling mini starlet as well but i was like you know what no um but i am hoping to get some this is another like kind of romantic sort of palette. I was thinking like dusty mops and then like dusty pinks for Valentine's Day. I anticipate I will end up keeping that palette. It's definitely a favorite of my minis. And then I also, in honor of Valentine's Day, pulling the Natasha Denona Mini Love. I also really like this mini palette because I love this shade right here for an inner corner highlight. It's like this pink too. It's like an icy champagne to pink. It's really beautiful. And I do enjoy this uh purple mauve shade so thought this would be a good one to pull out what is on my eyes today is a new one to my collection it is the ensley rain cold moon palette and this has some very very stunning like dusty purple slash mauve shades in fact when i was creating one of the looks that i created in my three looks one palette i even said maybe i just only need these mauve shades in my collection nothing else so I wanted to pull this one. I obviously wouldn't be decluttering this one, but there's some good shades to compare it to. Um, I already teased both of these, two from Glaminatrix. I have the Rich Romantic, which is not necessarily mauve tones, but again, I was thinking this would be a good Valentine's Day palette. So kind of like good to pull out this time of year. There are some purples in here. There's like this dusty, like pinky lilac matte shade up here there's some really beautiful like duochrome shades that i thought would be fun to kind of pair with maybe mauve looks that i'm like starting to create with other palettes but then like want to add a shifty shade and then the nearly natural palette from glaminatrix has these shades up here i've created like a dusty mauvey pink look out of this palette that i was so in love with so i thought this would be a good time to pull this palette as well because this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection this won't be going anywhere so maybe if i like this look better than like the look that i create with this aether beauty quad you know who knows this one is going to be tough this is the nars climax palette and we have this like dusty pink slash yeah dusty pink dusty pinky mauve up here i don't love the mattes in this palette but i do really love the shimmers i don't think i'll end up decluttering this i won't declutter this palette but definitely not my favorite i also i'm like does this really need to like be included in this because it's just like this shade and this shade and i know i'm not gonna declutter this one but also like maybe this shade is similar to like a shade out of here okay we're so we're gonna include it because i started i it was in my basket but also i'm like i probably could have skipped that palette <clears throat> Okay, the Odin's Eye Alva eyeshadow palette. I really like this palette, but I also find myself never reaching for this. But this is like the aesthetic that I'm thinking of. We've got dusty pinks. We've got dusty purples. We've got some really, really beautiful shimmers. And we have the like, fun pops of yellow, which I keep saying I want to do more yellow looks this year. So like in reality, this should be like my perfect palette for 2024. But we shall see. I also pulled the Tiny Marvels palette mainly because i just want to like actually get more use out of this i feel like this is like a very neglected palette in my collection and that's such a shame because it's such a beautiful palette beautiful fun color story incredible formula but i'm justifying it because there are some like mauvey purples in this palette as well so this one is also getting pulled in which other pat palette did i pull in is it the utopian yes okay utopian uh more like dusty pink than it is purple but we do have some fun sparkly purples over here that maybe might potentially pair well with other like mauve toned base shadows um and i really was just trying to pull this because i thought maybe we could do something for like february and valentine's day with this as well again dusty pinks dusty purples all right then i have the Too faced born this way natural nudes palette because there is like this dusty section we've got something a little bit more mm, it says warm rose i'm like i feel like we could like call this potentially like it has like maybe a hue of purple maybe i should have just called this like dusty pinks and purples i feel like and could i shut up and not say dusty pink or dusty purple the rest of the video because i'm annoying myself at this point in time but we have this pink section in the middle i don't really foresee myself getting rid of this palette just because i feel like this is a very kind of like utilitarian palette in my collection it just has like a little bit of everything it's not my favorite palette by any means but it's kind of just like a staple 
And then, oh, I missed another. It's like every Huda Beauty palette. But I have the Pretty Grunge palette. Um, there's like, I feel like this whole like section up here is like encompassing what I was thinking. Maybe not like this part of the palette, but like this part of the palette. I obviously won't be decluttering. I wouldn't declutter a Huda Beauty palette. Like I just wouldn't do it. Not a large one anyway. And actually that kind of reminds me of the Wild Jaguar. So maybe I'll pull in a 23rd palette. Yeah, this has a dusty purple up here. It has a dusty purple. It has a shimmery purple. We'll pull this one in too. And then the final two. Okay, so I have the Lethal Cosmetics Wildflower palette. Now this one is definitely a little bit more like bright purple. I probably could have skipped this as well. Like I don't necessarily know that this fits in with what I was going for, but I was thinking the shimmers might be fun to pair with looks. I also felt like this hot pink might be fun to create a Valentine's Day look, and obviously I'll be testing these palettes throughout February, so throughout the month of love, and so I thought this might be a fun one just to pull in and pair as well. I won't be decluttering this. Can you tell I literally probably won't be decluttering? Maybe nothing. Maybe I really will just keep all of my mob palettes up. You know what? Or what if I shocked us all and came back and was like, I'm getting rid of all but five. Who knows? Um, the last little thing I have here is a Kaja Trio. And this is the mob bouquet. And you guys, I thought I lost this or like gave it to my sister. And I, I think I found this floating around in my car, which could mean that I was like bringing it home in a bucket of makeup and it fell out. But I was so excited because I'm so into these Kaja stacks again that um, within the last year I've really fallen in love with these again and I thought that this one was gone forever but here it is so we have a dark purple on the bottom we have a kind of like satin shimmer in the middle and then we have one of the like chunkier textured really metallic foiled shades on top I feel like this is gonna be so beautiful I'm looking at all these palettes and I really am not feeling hopeful about decluttering much of anything <laughs> but maybe that'll just prove to me that like I can be buying more mauve tone palettes because clearly I actually like them hmm. that is gonna wrap it up for today's mauve tone introduction installment I would love to know what your favorite mauve tone palette is in the comments down below, was it one that I own? Was it one that I should be like seeking out next? Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.